to my channel. So it's been another week of my home office makeover and this is part three. If you haven't watched the previous parts, make sure to check it out in the description down below and up in the cards. The first week we moved our desk, see how it went, didn't go well, so I moved it. Second week we d built a new desk and third week we're just gonna do the little things such as cable management, adding some lighting, cleaning up the space. And if you haven't been to my channel yet, welcome. My name is Holly from Life with Holly Lifestyles. I'm so excited to share with you my life as an entrepreneur and my tips and tricks for business. I also share a lot of desk and productivity videos and lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in any of that or all of that, make sure you subscribe. So when I set up my branch gaming desk setup, Last week, I did mention that it actually looks pretty nice and it looks more like my main desk instead of my gaming desk. So I've sat here the last week making sure that the layout of the space is good where I have one desk on this side and another desk behind me. Um, and I did figure out that I think this larger desk is better for streaming and gaming. Um, it can make a mess because there's a lot of space on this desk. This is a 70 inch desk while the one behind is more my kind of like work aesthetic. So I think that it would be better to kind of switch things around. The hubby did get me some PC parts to rebuild my PC. I don't know how that's gonna go, but hopefully I'll get a PC and I can stream on my PC instead of my Mac. There were some problems that I had that I couldn't figure out, so hopefully that will fix it. And I can bring my double monitor up here for my desk and then have my work desk, which is my MacBook Pro over there. So today we are going to do some cable management, add some lighting to this room because I feel like it's just missing some light and kind of clean up and tidy everything and kind of finalize everything. So let's get started. Okay, so let's do a mini tour. I haven't changed too, too much, um, but one desk will be on this side, other desk will be on this side. So that area is like desk work and stuff like that. And then in this corner here, I moved the shelf instead of right flat against the wall. I moved it sideways and then if I'm able to clean up this area well, maybe maybe I can add some sort of seating there um, because those closet doors just slide so it shouldn't be a big problem. Um, so it'd be nice to have some sort of seating area. But right now it's just a lot of clutter of my mess and stuff. And then on this side I have my light which will move throughout the process depending on what I'm filming and then on this area here there will be um, a coffee station and that should be next week's um, video so there's that and then on this side I just kept um, one shelf here um, I still like this kind of layout that I did so I'm gonna keep that there and then maybe the wall stuff will change but I'll probably do those off camera because that's going to be a hard thing to do. My plan is probably to take off these two, put them somewhere else. For my wall shelves, I'll keep one for this side and then the other one on the other side. Probably the longer one here and the shorter one over there so they can share it. Um, but yeah, so there's the kind of overview and then I still have this um, shelf here which is one of my favorites. This is from Ikea and then I don't know if I'm going to move this if it's in the way, I might move it, but so far I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And it has the sun that it needs for the plants. Um, but yeah, that's a little overview. But today we're going to do some cable management since I am moving a lot of the stuff um, over. So now it's time to do some real cable management because when I was trying to film some short form content um, and sharing that the table goes up, this black cord is a no-go for me. So we're gonna do that next. Okay, so I got the outlet there and then we have the cable management all screwed in thanks to hubby. Um, so now I'm going to start moving my stuff that I need for my MacBook. So pretty much the 
Apple display. Um, I do have my M8 here. That was just for display only. I'm not actually using it. I'm actually trying to sell it and I keep forgetting to sell it. So this is a reminder for me, but we're gonna move those over and then we're gonna plug everything in. And then this will be my official setup. I'll also change some of the peripherals. Like this is supposed to be my gaming peripheral. So we're gonna change it to the ones I normally use. And yeah. So I moved some stuff from my desk that I know that I will probably use daily. I wanted to keep it more simple, so I'm just gonna keep the things that I know I will use more than for decoration. There's some things that I have that I do use. I can just turn around and grab it, um, but all the important things, everyday use things, are should be on the table. Um, I need to um, obviously hang out for a little bit to see how it goes before finalizing everything but I switched into this mat it's nice and big so I'm just going to use this one for now because I do miss using it I used it when I first got it um, and then I haven't used it since it does have um, the felt on the bottom so I can switch it up if I want at the Cozy Lee um, MagSafe I'm thinking of if I want to put it here if I want to put it on the side I kind of don't like it like right in like in my system um, what I love about this system is that they are magnetic so it fits really well on the mat but i don't know if i want it on the mat so i might move it but this is where it's going to be for now macbook's right here i set up most of the stuff it should be good um and then i also have um this which is carrying currently carrying the ipad this is the grove made um note taking kit so you can put your papers there if you want i'm still debating if i want to move the little thing over here so i'm still deciding um but it's just going to be a little bit of trial and error just don't want to clutter the space too too much yet um and see how it goes but we'll see so this side is a super duper mess because i had to because i had everything cable managed in the back and then there's some cords that i needed to take out so definitely need to rearrange those anyway so i'll probably just take everything out um, when i get my pc set up but then maybe i'll just like redo everything and figure it out then um, but right now it's going to be a mess over there so that's settled on that side but i just need to make sure that i get this side functioning and working so i can test it out for the rest of this week um, and next week and then finalize everything for the final video final review um, but yeah there is that so last but not least i want to install these govi um, led strip lights i actually got these a while back um, I purchased them, I believe, in the last Prime Day sale. Um, I haven't had a chance to do it yet because basically I would probably have to move every single product here to put them on the floor. But I've been wanting to add kind of like LED strips into the space to kind of brighten it up. And I was still trying to figure out how to do it because there are two sets in here. Um, but I need to figure out if it fits around the room, if it can even fit above and stuff like that. And I got the one that has warm light. So this is perfect for spaces like mine. If you're not just strictly using RGB, you want it to have some warm light. Um, so it looks more like home. And then that hopefully can also help with filming in the future also. Maybe if I light this up, it will help too. So we'll see about that. Um, I'll probably do this tomorrow. So do a little time lapse of it for you guys to check out um, in the final product. But that is kind of the last step of this um, video.
So that's pretty much it for today's video. We did some changing things around, moving things around. I have to do more after this video too, uh, but I'll link down all the cable management and lights that I mentioned um, in this video for you, just in case you want to do something similar. And that's it for part three of my home office makeover. There'll be part four next week where I share my coffee station and then hopefully I will do a mini tour of the space. Obviously for the rest of December, I will basically um, fix things here and there. And then hopefully in January, we can do a more professional looking video and share the review and everything. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've been getting a lot of great feedback from you guys through Instagram, TikTok, everywhere. I'll see you in my next video. Make sure to follow me at Life with Holly Lifestyles on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!